first. <clears throat> So continuing our discussion on uh, uh, eukaryotic organisms, we're going to talk about uh, parasitic helminths. So actually, this is a term uh, created by uh, parasitologists to incorporate uh, two groups of, uh, of uh, worms, okay? So we have the roundworm nematoda, and you have flatworms uh, platyhelminthes. So they're ve they're very diverse. Uh, nematoda is usually parasitic, and uh, some are important human pathogens. So, ito mga creatures na to, no? If you try to cut them, they just, uh, no, they just become separate uh, organisms eventually. So, hindi mo mapapatay ito by cutting them. So, they are uh, uh, dioecious. They can have either male or female uh, reproductive organs. Or in the single in, in the same organism, it can be it can have uh, male and female reproductive organs. You call that uh, monoecious, okay? So, yung dioecious, it will be in two separate uh, organisms. Sila. one will either have the male uh, organ, the other will have the female organ, reproductive organ. While uh, in other organisms, the same individual can have both male and female reproductive organs. So they're usually parasitic. That means they will have limited uh, digestive tract, nervous systems, and uh, locomotor abilities. Okay, first is the phylum nematoda. The name nematoda comes from the word uh, New Manila Tricycle Operators and Drivers Association. Joke lang, joke. It's uh, actually, it came from the Greek word nematos, which means uh, thread. And uh, ADOS, which means form. So, yun, so thread like naman yung mga nematoda. Okay. And uh, so, yung mga nematodes, hindi lang humans yung ano, no? ang nagiging parasite. So, meron din sa mga prutas natin. Kung nakakain na kayo sa yung mga sa talong, may mga uod sa talong, uh, sa mga fruits. So, Dependent sa, ano, sa species. Meron namang insects naman talaga. Ano? So, hindi, hindi talaga nematodes. Uh, cut, ano lang sila, um, larva form lang ng insects. So, itong mga nematodes, they're roundworms all throughout their life cycle. Okay? So, itong nematodes, basically, they're unsegmented unsegmented and the uh, full digestive system even when parasitic. So one of the more famous uh, uh, diseases is Ascaris uh, lumbricoides. Okay, so this is common. This is a common nematode uh, intestinal parasite found in humans. So especially pa contaminated um, ang water. So, ang mangyari dyan, yung mga ascaris na yan, they will try to crawl out. Tapos, dahil dadaan dyan nga sa papunta sa, ano mo, sa pharynx mo, sa papunta sa esophagus, akit siya. So, pag akit yan, maubo 
yung taong may ask charisma ubo yan. Kaya yung iba nga, tumatalsik nga yung yung uh, yung uod sa ano eh, pag sobrang rami na na ask charisma. Okay? So, it may cause symptoms ranging from relatively mild. So, yun yung mangyayari, no? May mild abdominal pain, may cough. Dahil nga, umakit yung uod sa papunta sa ano mo, sa throat mo. Tapos may severe. So, it may lead to intestinal blockage and impaired growth. So, nakikita mo yan sa uh, yung mga African children na, may, na, na undergo na starvation. So, nakita mo na super payat nila pero malaki yung chan, no? So, dahil sa intestinal blockage yan, tapos may parasites sila sa, ano, sa digestive system nila. Okay. So, um, in extreme cases nga, pag mataas yung lagnat ng tao, so sobrang taas na lagnat, yung ascaris na yan, they will crawl out kahit saan pwedeng lumabas, no? Some will even try to uh, crawl their way sa ears, sa eardrums, sa, sa nose, and even sa, minsan sa eyes, sa extreme cases. So, yun. Uh, yung pag uh, sobrang uh, ay, 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 So, pag sobrang infected na yung tao, ganun yung extremes. Okay, so, importante, ano, every three years, mag-try kayo mag-deworm, no? So, hindi porket na akala mo malinis yung tubig, eh, wala na kayong mga parasites sa digestive system. So, every three years, every five years, try nyo mag-deworm. Uh, Especially kung may mga alaga kayong aso, pwede kayong mag, ano, yung mga saliva ng aso, yung mga parasites yan, so... But make sure na nag de the worm kayo. So ito yung example ng isang uh, nematol. Ito naman ay uh, pinworm. So itong pinworm, ma ano yan, uh, nangingitlog sila sa anus. Okay? So kumakapi yung puwet. So, this is common, no? So, pag makati yung pet, siyempre, is scratch nyo. In the middle of the night, hindi nyo man hugasan. So, scratch nyo. Tapos, hindi nyo alam. Nag, uh, kakain kayo sumagal ng tinapay. Tapos, mamimigay kayo ng tinapay sa iba. Siyempre, yung uh, hinawakan mo ng kamay, meron na yung egg ng pinworm. So, gawin yung ugali ang maghugas palagi ng kamay. Kahit ano lang yan eh. Ano ba, yung underwear, uh, maamoy nyo lang na yung sobrang lapit na yung itlog ay mabibrief inyo kasi <laughs> namoy nyo yung underwear. So, pwedeng mangyari yun. Okay, so it can cause sleepless na uh, sleeplessness itching around the anus so this is where the female worms lay their eggs during the night so this can cause uh, uh, larval uh, mig migrants so it can result in eye inflammation vision loss pag sa mata na, na infect so it may cause fever fatigue coughing abdominal pain and then yun nga pag lumala na sa mata it will infect the eye or the viscera 
Another nematode is hookworm. So this is caused by uh, Necator americanus and uh, an, 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 silo, an Ancylostoma dodenale. Yung isa pala is a round. It's a pinworm. Enterobius vermicula, uh, vermo, vermicularis. So itong, hook, uh, itong hookworm, so it includes uh, abdominal pain, diarrhea, loss of appetite, weight loss, fatigue, and anemia. Another nematode. This causes uh, trichinellosis. Uh, uh, sorry, it causes uh, trichinosis. So this is uh, this is caused by trichinella spiralis. So when it's undercooked, when your meat is undercooked, so yung ano niya, yung egg, magiging larva na yan. So it, it allows them to insist in the muscles. So this may include fever, muscle pains, digestive system problems. So ang pwede mangyari dyan, lack of coordination, uh, breathing, heart problems, and even death. So sa dogs naman, no? ang, como, ang uh, parasite ng dogs, you have Bifidobacteria imitis. So this is transmitted by mosquitoes. So one common common uh, term is heartworm. So dogs and other animals. So yung uh, dog nyo may fatigue or cough. So when left untreated, it may kill the animal. Okay, so yun yung mga nematodes. Ito naman mga platy helminthes from the word no? you have flatworms. So you have flukes, tapeworms, and uh, turbellarians. So let's look at them. So ito yung sa class turbellaria sa letter A. Yan yung class turbellaria. Ito sa yung picture dito sa right. So these are this is a uh, gill fluke. So ano lang is da yung ininfect niya. You have, here you have prematoda. So this is a liver fluke. Ibig sabihin yung liver lang yung uh, don don sila nag propagate. And then you have tapeworm here. So you have class cestoda. So these are the flukes, otherwise uh, known as trematodes. They do not have segments and they have an oral sucker. So they, this allows them to attach uh, to intestines, lungs, liver, blood vessels, etc. Okay, so because of because there are parasites like uh, the other eukaryotic cells, because of the parasites, they have adapted uh, a life cycle which which uh, which includes the multiple hosts. Okay, so examples of this, you have the liver flukes, uh, conarchis, and opistorchis. And then you have the intestinal fluke, uh, fasciolopsis, uh, buski. And then you have the oriental lung fluke, paragonimus uh, wistermani.
So a parasitic disease, uh, this is a schisto, some, uh, some yasis. This is caused by the parasite, schistosoma mansoni and uh, schistosoma hemato hematobium and S. Uh, japonicum. So these are found in freshwater snails. So yun yung intermediate host niya. So pag na, so the parasites will lead, will have a life cycle within the freshwater snails, no? Ito ay itura ng liver fluke. So maliit lang to. So the other sucker is in the, sa, ano niya, sa dulo ng fluke. So, ito yung picture ng cestode. Ito yung itsura ng uh, scolex ng pork tapeworm. So, ito yung uh, tainia solium. So, this is the pork tapeworm. Okay, so tingnan natin ang life cycle ng... Uh, wait. Using the natin the life cycle ng flatworm. So let's look at the uh, schistosoma. So I'm going to start in life cycle niya. So sa feces, meron na uh, iba ibang uh, schistosoma spe uh, species. So Eggs will hatch and release uh, mir miracidia. So the miracidia or the miracidia will penetrate the snail tissue. So we'll na spore systems uh, snail. Okay. So eventually, the cercariae uh, released by the snail will go into the water. You no. Know? So it will be free swimming. So hindi kailangan ingest through sa mouth. It can penetrate the skin. So when it penetrates the skin, so the uh, cercaria lose the tails during penetration. <clears throat> so um, the, it will lose the tails during the penetration and becomes uh, schistosome mulae. Okay, so yon uh, it will circulate throughout the system. So eventually, it will find its way in the liver and mature into adults. So paired adult worms migrate to mesenteric venues of the bowels and then lay their eggs. So, so the cycle repeats itself. Okay. So, um, so another important uh, important group you have tapeworms. So these are known, also known as uh, cestodes. So they are segmented, and they have a head region called the scolex. And you can find the suckers and hooks there. So they will attach to the wall of the small intestine. So yung segments, they are called uh, proglottids. So they have each segment, no? 
So I put all in me and uh, it will reproduce itself. So important dapat yung head is called axiom matanggal. Kasi kung putulin mo lang yung tapeworm, it will just uh, uh, reproduce and form those segments. So pwede yung humaba yan kasi yung haba ng intestine ng humans. So this contains reproductive structures that attach when the gametes are fertilized. So so you have this uh, gravid uh, proglottids. So may mga kasamang eggs. Sometimes you have an intermediate host that consumes the eggs. And then they will hatch a larval form called an oncosphere. Okay. So sa tissue or organ in the, in the intermediate host, it will form a sister cell. So yun, yung mga uh, beef, uh, yung mga cows, at saka mga pig. So after being eaten by the definitive host, the sister cell C will develop into the adult tapeworms in the host digestive uh, system. So example nito, yung sa beef tapeworm, Tainia saginata and Tainia solium. So this is the pork tapeworm. Mas common siya sa pork kasi yung beef naman, yung usually kinakain naman yung grass uh, or basta mga uh, above the, kumbaga mas sanitary yung conditions ng kinakain ng cow or uh, yeah, yeah, yung basically mas sanitary yung conditions. Mas ano yung support kasi minsan yung condi yung sanitary conditions ng poultry ay hindi ano hindi siya ay sorry. Uh, basta yung sanitary conditions ng pig farm hindi ideal kaya Kasi yung pork, uh, yung pig, kahit ano kinahain niya, di ba? So, pwedeng madaling makontaminate yung food niya with their own feces. So, uh, mas common sa pork ang tapeworm. Kaya, madalang kang makakarinig na ginagawang medium rare ang pork meat. So, dapat lutong-luto ang pork meat, no? So, so, ang beef lang usually ang pinagawang medium rare. Pero syempre, may risk ka pa rin dyan na baka uh, infested yung beef or yung pork. So, the adult worms may reside in the intestines, but in the larval stage, they may be found in locations such as the skeletal and smooth muscle. So, yun nga. So, yung sa pig, so pag magmamigrate yung larva, kakainin mo yung undercooked meat. So nandun yung mga uh, larva stage nung, ano, nung mga tapeworm. So life cycle niya. So ito nga yung example mo nung uh, tapeworm that are found in meat or in pork meat or in beef. So if cattle. T. saginata and uh, T. solium. So they, they become in, in, uh, infected by eating vegetation, contaminated with eggs, or gravid uh, proglottids. So ang mangyari dyan, let's make this larger. So the oncospheres hatch, so they will be able to penetrate the intestinal wall and then uh, they will go through the, they will use the circular, circulatory system to find its way to the, to the muscles and other parts of the body. So eventually the oncosphere develop into the sister cell in the muscles. So 
when humans eat those uh, meat, yan, doon na magkakaroon ng ano, doon na papasok yung uh, larva. Eventually, the scolex will attach to the intestines. So, ganyan. Umahaba siya ng ganyang kahaba. Hanggang sa lumabas sa anus, pwede mangyari yan. Pag uh, untreated na infestation. Okay. Uh, let's start another segment para yung topic to. So, please join na lang ulit.